pas. I have no idea where my oysters are and that concerns me. Grocery haul. Okay everyone, we did some grocery shopping and I'm gonna show you all of the fun things that I purchased today, which is a lot of goods. Okay, so, so I got these. You guys know I love the rosemary ones, so I wanted to try these garlic ones. And then I got these garlic pita chips to go with something else that I got. And then these because I got a burrata, so I wanted that to go with that. There's cheese. I got some shrimp for my shrimp scampi, which I think I'm going to show you guys the recipe of how I make that in this vlog because it's really good. Lots of lemons. I got oysters because I want to try them. Tomatoes. Katie got avocados. We got this ball of mozzarella. This is a little Italian herb mix. This, which I'm excited to try. I don't know where I've seen it, but it looks good. We got artisan bread. My favorite churned European butter. And then... My favorite Parmesan Reggiano. We need more chili flakes. I got a digestion check because I already had a couple in there. This is my favorite fresh pasta. What do I make? Oh, we got lettuce. <gasps> Where's the other lettuce? We got a thing of romaine, which is in my nanny stuff. These chips to go with. Well, can't you just cut the bottom off with this? Yeah, it's probably fine. This dip is really good. It's not very healthy, but it's good, so that's my weakness. I got this cooked crab meat because I want to try that. I don't know. I like crab. these are bad? Oh, they look just fine. I got some tabbouleh, because I wanted to get that, okay. Um, garlic, watermelon, that's called pineapple. We got oranges, this bag, yeah, no, what's the bread? A coconut water, this is messing up the vibe. Chicken, flour, anything else you'd like to add, Katie? Okay, quick little, Fridge tour, except we're mainly gonna look at this side because this is the side that looks pretty. <laughs> so this is just like random, most of like my parents' stuff and that kind of thing, but this is where it gets pretty, okay. Cheese and butter drawer, okay, love. Got the burrata, cream cheese, I have my butter, Parmesan Reggiano, all of our different like shredded cheeses and that sort of thing. Down here we have veggies and like garlic, avocados, tomatoes, all of that kind of thing down there. Oh, Katie, we have two empties. We have an empty one at the bottom, too. Up here, we have strawberries and pineapple. And then I ended up here. I can put that right there. Kombucha section area. This is my little pasta storage. So I, the, these are my favorite fresh pastas. So those go there. And then I just have my tabbouleh and then some basil looks that didn't fit anywhere else. A coconut water, and then I have some ginger shots back there. We have oranges, lemons, pears, tomatoes. This is the little seafood area, which oysters are in the freezer, but those will go in here too. So this is the little seafood area, and then that's like sauces and stuff. So there's the fridge. You can't even see it. It's time for my favorite part of the day. Um, I recently purchased a, um, portable sauna. <laughs> so if you remember last year, um, when Katie and I first started, like, going to the gym religiously and that kind of thing, grandparents ended up getting, like, a sauna put into their basement. So Katie and I went over there every single day after we worked out and we went in the sauna and it was amazing. I saw Kenzie Burke on her Instagram story talking about this portable sauna that she found and I was like I think I need it because we haven't been able to go into my grandparents house because of COVID um and these are just supposedly like amazing for anxiety and just like detoxification and sh like she swears it just brings down her stress level I think it brings down like cortisol levels and that kind of thing I have it heating up right now and I basically go inside and I sit inside of this for an hour and I sweat my literal ass off and it's the greatest thing in the whole world. We're gonna do that, it's heating up right now. I've got my candles lit, I do a little meditation. Update, you can't really see me. <laughs> I'm now in the sauna, it's already really hot in here and I'm gonna sit in here and sweat for the next like hour. Here's a little bit of a better look at this in case you are interested in getting one, which I would highly recommend. It's actually pretty big. It's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. The normal thing that people do, I guess, is 
you like stick your head through this hole and like you can stick your arms through these holes. Um, which I don't do normally. I just keep this part like all sealed up and I zip everything up. And then I just go on the inside and it's an infrared sauna which is amazing for your body. It's like detoxification it's just like better for your body. Um, so it has three panels. So there's an infrared panel right there. There's one on this side and then there's also one on this side. And then it also comes with a foot pad just back there. So like I normally sit on the foot pad <laughs> because it gets really, really warm. And then it goes up to, here's the little like controller guy. It, it goes up to 150 degrees, which is normally where I have it set. Um, and then I normally do it for an hour and it is just like, it's amazing. So highly recommend. And then it just like, folds down too so I've been storing it also this thing is really nice because you can like pull this out it's like heat insulated but you can also pull out all of the sweat that comes off of you sunny today who would have thought um Starbucks um I just have a lot of like random like filming and stuff that I have to do today <sighs> so we're gonna do that I needed to talk about something I forgot what it was I think I've worn this exact same outfit in the past like three vlogs um, I'm gonna do some online shopping today so there's like a couple like jewelry things that I want to get. You know what I really wish, also look at my, this is fun. I really wish, or like I guess I'm trying to kind of like bring back Sarah Summer 2018. It must be a full moon or Mercury must be in retrograde because something's going on today. But like Summer 2018, everything was so much easier and simpler and pure. So that's the energy I'm trying to like manifest into this coming summer. Mm -hmm. Do you guys see Olivia Jade came back to YouTube? I'm so excited because her videos were like my favorite. Bridgerton. It's a great show. Like great show. But it's a lot more like Game of Thronesy than I, I thought it was going to be. Which I don't mind. Like it's just really cute. I'm in episode 7 I think. I know, but I like don't want it to end, so I'm like kind of trying to like savor it, I guess. Also, I'm so sore because I've been doing like I've been doing yoga every day for a while, but normally it's just like like a little restorative kind of, not really like like strength building, I guess. Normally it's just more for like my mental state than for my body, deep breathing and that kind of thing. But I've been doing a lot more like like toning, strength training, yogas. I really love them, but I'm so sore. Like my whole body is just like, I don't know, I like it. Cause like I know I'm like building and like toning and whatever. You know what a quote that I absolutely love on Pinterest is? In six, oh hello, okay, that is so incredibly uncomfortable. Six months from now, you could either be in like a completely different space. Like you could be a completely different person in your like headspace and in your body. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now because this guy's gonna walk by and think that I'm completely nuts, which I am. But like six months from now, you could either be in like a completely different place, like be a completely different person, or you could just be like wishing that you had started. So we're starting now to get the summer 2021 it's just gonna be amazing I can feel that it's going to be amazing however I need to work on my body <laughs> um, body confidence would also be nice I'd like to not like that's something that I'm working with my therapist on right now I'd like to not completely like make myself feel awful 
about myself all the time um so that would be nice a little self-confidence would be good uh what is it body hair like i'm not touching my hair so like we're growing the hair out um what else oh like skin face like i'm doing a lot of like sculpting and that kind of thing and like just detoxing um mentally i want to be in a better place too so now we're just working on the sadness. I've like got my anxiety pretty much under control and I'm actually not, this is like, I don't know, it's weird to talk about, but it's also like not weird because I'm like really open with this stuff with you guys. So right now I'm in like a transitional period, like I'm not on any sort of like antidepressant or medication right now, um, which I've been, was I was diagnosed in, I believe it was 2016, so it's been five years? Yeah, it's been five years that I've been on a, like, mood regulating medication sort of thing for my head. And at first I, like, really, really needed it because I was just, like, an anxious mess. But I feel like right now I'm not on anything and I've completely, like, I have my anxiety under control. It's just, like like the sadness, depression aspect of it, which is like fine today because the sun is out. So I'm like so frustrating because it's like different things trigger all the time. And I know that the answer to all my issues is not just like moving somewhere where it's gonna be sunny all the time, but it sure as hell is going to help. It's also weird to think like if everything goes according to my plan, like a year from now, in a completely different state, like living on my own with different people. Like it's it's gonna be weird. I wonder where we're gonna be with YouTube in a year. Like I wonder how much our family is going to grow because like we've grown a lot this year. So I'm like excited to see what what comes of this in like a year from now, so. This is my little spiel. It's just nice to like, I missed the little like Starbucks chit chat, like while we're in the Starbucks line kind of things. So I'm also looking for new rings. I can't stand her. Do you guys wanna see like the health journey? <laughs> I don't have anything to talk about. Um, I was saying like, would you guys like to see like fitness, but I don't really do fitness, I do yoga and that's about it, but. Here comes the sun. Starbucks, what can I get for you today? Hi, can I do a venti strawberry acai refresher, please? For 4.45. Thank you. I don't know, I have this vision of this video that I wanna do, that I've wanted to do for a while, but it's like, just like doing yoga on the beach. I don't know, it's been in my head. Sorry, lighting's really weird. It's out, so we're gonna take it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Would that be fun? <laughs> Yoga on the beach? I mean, obviously it has to get warmer. I don't know. I just wanna like, I mean, I have a lot going on right now. Like I've got like, we have school happening. I have, sorry, lighting is just, wow. Well. I have work stuff going on. But like, I just want to like make more of YouTube. You know what I mean? Oh God, I wasn't ready for that. 4.45. Have a good one. You too. Do you see this? Look at that, look at that. My room is a little bit of a mess. This we need to find like a storage place for. I think I might just like shove it under my bed. I feel like that could be a good area. Can you even see? We lose guys, so we're just gonna leave it like that. Please fit. Please fit. <gasps> it fits. It needs a little bit of help, but I think it fits. <sighs> okay, this. A little bit of a mess here, but this is where we really need to like focus the attention. Uh. Like, I should have some sort of system down so this doesn't happen every single week. Do I? know? My sauna came with a baby chair. <laughs> That's kind of cute. I just need to, like, fold, put stuff away, right? You can see me when I'm, like, over. No, I don't think you can, but it's okay. Okay, guys, here's the thing. I know I said I wasn't touching my hair for seven months. 
However, I'm gonna point like the day that I got my hair done last time, I made an appointment. She's like, so you wanna come back in like, I think it's like eight weeks to like adjust how it looks or whatever and like change, I don't, I don't even know. Um, but now I'm thinking, I kind of wanna go like, I just wanna go back to like my natural hair color with like a couple little highlights. So, I don't know if I should, like, cancel the appointment and just let my hair, like, grow out and then I can do that. Or go in and just... Oh, no. So, comment down below. What do you think I should do? Maybe I'll do, like, a little poll on Instagram and that's how we'll decide if I, like, keep the appointment book. Because I like my hair now, but I like how it's, like, dark. I don't know. Because it's too light in the back, I think. I have to charge my camera. I'm gonna finish doing this. Yo, that was weird. Um, hello. I finished filming another video, which I don't know if you've seen yet, so. Booby. Okay, that's done. I am now, well, I have to clean up the mess that I made because I felt the need to bring out my sauna to show everyone because I'm obsessed with it, so. I am now gonna clean all this up and then I'm gonna go grab Liv because she's leaving for school and we're gonna go for like a little drive and hang out because she's leaving does anyone else do this do you keep like a little bit of like a sunscreen or like something like that by like available so when you're like missing the summertime it transports you back to the beach no, just me, okay? Um, leaving for school in a couple days, so I was gonna go pick her up so I could see her before she left. I'm gonna do that. And then come home, cook. Although, okay, here's, there's been a, there's been a situation, okay? Obs, like, obsessed is an understatement, okay? My shrimp scampi is the best thing in this entire earth. I, uh, okay, that has something on it. I showed a little clip of me making it, I think that was last night, and I posted it on my Instagram story a couple times, but like it's so incredibly good and it's my favorite thing in the entire world to cook. However, the recipe that I love uses a lot of garlic and my family gets very, very upset when I cook with garlic. <laughs> like when I make my scampi, it's amazing, but the entire house always just smells like garlic, which I feel bad for, like, sorry, but it's so good. So every single time I make it, which I've been making it pretty much every single day for past few weeks, I get, like, ridiculed, and I'm completely judged, and it's just very hurtful. I'm trying to figure out a way that I can, like, make it without... God! Then I can make it without like making the entire house smell like garlic. So, um, what am I doing? Oh, okay. So that goes away. God, I shouldn't have talked about it because now I want it. I'm not allowed to make it tonight because I made it last night. I think I'm gonna make salmon tonight. I'm obsessed with seafood. I never realized how much I love seafood. No one in my family really like. We don't cook a lot. I like no one in my family really likes seafood, so I never tried it, and now I'm like discovering this whole world of like mussels and oysters and scallops, and just really good fish. Here are my crystals. I don't did I ever show? I don't think I ever showed you my crystals. This is my quartz. I don't know what the name of this one is. I don't know where my other one is. My rose. Is it like so weird that I'm I'm 18 years old? And I refuse to let this stuffed animal leave my bedroom. I don't think, like, I think, like, this this stuffed animal will come with me every, like, does anyone else have, like, that one stuffed animal that you're just never going to get rid of? Diesel is mine. Yes, he has a collar. So, don't judge me. It's one of those things where I don't think he's ever going to be able, like, I don't think I'm ever going to be emotionally okay to, like, let him leave my room. Like, that's not good. That's Katie's stool that I stole for filming purposes. Like, I'm so excited to crawl into this tonight. Now I have a convenient place to store it. So to take this into Katie's room. <laughs> Same now. My sheets are also in the washer right now. So we're gonna have lovely clean bedding. That, damn it. Let's talk about
about my bedding in the favorites video. Okay, well, I guess this is the redemption of the favorites video because I'm remembering all the things that I forgot to show you. Bedding. Oh, God. Hello. I feel... I look so weird with, like, makeup. I, 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 hold on. That... I still have to deal with that, but later date. That's dryer sheets. I'm obsessed with this. <laughs> I got it off of Amazon. I think this duvet... I'm pretty sure it was... Let me move these because it's messing up my vibe. I think this duvet was like $24.99 or something ridiculously crazy like that. It is so soft, but it's not like... Like, it's like hotel soft, you know? And it's like... Like, I like my sheets a little crispy. I That sounds so weird, but I do. And this is like the perfect texture for a duvet and I absolutely love it so there's there's dryer sheets all over the place to try and avoid the garlic smell I will link this down below because I'm completely obs well there's my barefoot dreams blanket you know I love that I got a memory foam topper like this from Amazon or not from Amazon from Costco seven years ago and then I got sick and puked on it so we had to throw it out <laughs> but I got another one off of Amazon and I think this also was really inexpensive. I think this was only like 20, I don't know, I'm not gonna say because I completely forget, but like, it's so soft and I sleep amazing on it. So I will link this down below as well in case you're in need of some new, I'll link the, the duvet, the duvet too, in case you're in need of like new comfy bedding that makes you feel like you're in a hotel resort. Okay. Now Liv's texting me because she's mad. She was bored and I was supposed to pick her up like an hour ago, so we're gonna go do that. You guys haven't seen Liv in a while, so. I'm gonna go get her. <laughs> what the hell? He does that a lot. Not the I think he broke it. Just turned off. Yeah, look, there we go. Here we are. Why is it so far away? Mm -mm. The camera's close to us, but why are we so zoomed out? Because I have a wide angle lens. Yeah, am I gonna be bigger? Like, I'm gonna be closer to the thing? Mm -hmm. How it looks on. Um, this is the exact way that it looks on the thing. I have to. This water is so nasty. It's really bad. It has minerals in it. Okay, well, the vlog has missed you, so what would you like to update them on? Hey guys. <laughs> Me. Um, nothing really going on in my life. I did get kicked out of college. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, I'm perfect. <laughs> Drop out in a community college bitch. <laughs> oh my god, they put pull oof in there. I'm sorry, a what? We so let's do um a, a BFF Q and A. Did you see uh, Jojo Siwa's cat? She came out as cat. I mean, I could have seen that, but really. <laughs> oh, are we gonna freestyle? I'll be the first one. You ready? <laughs> Wait, play the the an instrumental version. Yeah. Perhaps? <gasps> Wait. Sarah, that like makes me want to like gouge my eyes out. That's like Wait. I would rather slam my tongue in a car door than do anything to that song. Why? She's so much older than me. Do a street. <laughs> Five minutes and thirty-four seconds. I feel like we just got here. This is so dumb. How and when did we meet? I don't remember. <laughs> when I told Miss Tilly that I was gonna get a tat, shave my head, and get a tattoo of your head on the back of my hat. <laughs> that was the beginning of our friendship. Your first impression of me. This girl, weird. <laughs> it's probably the same about me, too. Favorite memory together? Vlogmas um, Day 21. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Describe each other in one word. Weird. Um, <laughs> you're like laughing. I'm like stupid. <laughs> An angel on earth. <laughs> I'm hey, the um, second coming of Jesus. <laughs> I was editing that one night when that. Why is the? Did it just go like that? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it blocking my whole head. <laughs> What's my middle name? <laughs> The fact that it like took me a minute to like think of it. <laughs> what if that like wasn't your? Why was it the first thing that came to mind was Rose? <laughs> I'm gonna say you're gonna be like. Was it? No, it's not Rose. We'll be Kate. Oh yeah, I knew that. With I'm not sure. You're probably like a seven. Yeah. 
Yeah, seven, seven and a half. You're a nine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On a free day, I generally A, sleep late, B, get up normal, C, get up earlier. That's These are boring. Stupid. Can I find some find good questions? Else. Why does my head look Have so Have we ever massive? gotten in a fight? No. No. Am I allergic to anything? Love. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> These aren't even, these are not juicy. This are. one's juicy. Do I chew on my pens and pencils? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a professional take a photo shoot of you? Yeah. <laughs> of course. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> not for that. My photos are all taken by Katie.